Okay, so this is breeding, I'm going to put you up a little bit. Okay, so this is breeding attempt number three. If you've had a look through any of my older videos, you'll be able to see attempt one or two. The first year that I did it, I did it inside of my normal aquaponic tank, and I had kind of mixed results. The problem basically was that I couldn't stop the fish from moving all the way through the system, I couldn't stop the other fish from eating them, and I ended up with not that many goldfish. Second year, I got a little bit cleverer about it, and I researched on what was a green water breeding tank, and it worked very well. The basic idea of it is that you set up a big tank with Dapin, and they basically breed, you pack goldfish in there, and then they survive off the Dapin, which eat off the algae and everything that grows inside the tank. But, I had some issues with that one as well. The biggest being dragonfly larvae. They would get in there and it was kind of impossible to stop them. They would drop the nymphs in there and they would eat all the goldfish fry. They had a hell of a good time and they cut down the numbers of the goldfish that I would have gotten out of it. Plus, uh, my wife was not too hang hang happy about having a massive swimming pool in the backyard. So, year number three. Behind me, I have some IBCs and I've just gotten these ones and they are now filling up with water. It's relatively simple ones. They are, they used to have hydrochloric acid in there, so they are pretty safe, pretty easy to use. And basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill them up with water. I'm gonna let that water sit since it's just normal tap water. I'm gonna give it about two, three weeks and hopefully I'm gonna add some sea salt or power feed or something that's got a bit of nutrients and that sort of stuff which will kickstart algae growing. And when that gets nice green horribly and soupy, I'm gonna add some that into that one. So they will start breeding up population and hopefully if I've timed it just about right, my goldfish will be starting to drop eggs and ready to put the eggs straight in here. So fingers crossed this should go a hell of a lot easier. But I'll show you what I've done so far and give you guys and show you some of the goldfish because some of them are getting stupid fat. I mean they are just getting I'll show you guys shortly. So basically what I've done is I have set it up with cut these little lids off. So those lids will be able to sit straight over the top of where it goes and they will stop the dragonfly larvae getting inside of there, which is kind of what I need for this sort of setup. The water, it's filling up. It's gonna be filling up for a while. And I have three of these. So, so the plan with the three of these is basically, I'm gonna have three separate sorts of fish in there, or however it really works. So one's probably gonna be for normal comets. The other ones are gonna be for fancier goldfish and maybe some blacks, or maybe I might do it as they grow so the, so the first lot of fry will go in this one, the second lot in that one, third lot in that one. And another good thing about this is if I do do something stupid, then I've got backups. So if I put too much hydrochloric acid and I kill off the dapine or something like that, or who knows what might happen, I've got two more backups that I can quickly scoop the fish front, scoop the dapine and transfer them over. So I'm going to show you guys some of the fish and show you how they're going. Now these are my rather skittish goldfish down here. And you guys won't be able to see very much, so I'm going to go grab the little GoPro. Okay, so I have my little GoPro and I'm gonna show you the guys these show you these guys a little bit closer. Now you see some of them and there's little mini dickhead. So happy. But just look at some of the fat bellies on these fish. Look at that big mama there. That is speckled Jemima. And the other ones behind her, they've just got the massive fat, fattest bellies on them at the moment. The water's still a bit cold, so they're not doing too much at the moment. They're not moving, they're not eating too much since the water's still cold. But as soon as it all starts warming up, I'm going to start getting a lot of fish out of these guys. Now, I'm going to give these guys a while to fill up since there's a lot of water these things hold and it's going to take a good long time. So, if you guys got any questions or curious about anything else, um, shoot me a comment in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. But keep tuned and I'll keep you guys updated on how well this works because hopefully with these guys it's going to work a hell of a lot easier and be a lot more controllable. So, keep tuned.